was God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, or God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. My fundraising tip based on that tune is the fact that it is mentioned, it's referenced by Charles Dickens in A Christmas Carol. He calls it God Bless You, Merry Gentlemen. And you'll know that there are fundraisers involved and the charitable acts um, denied at the beginning but given at the end. So there's a positive element to A Christmas Carol and the reference to that carol. So we know there are street fundraisers, door-to-door -door fundraisers, who come knocking right at the very beginning and inviting Scrooge and Marley to give to charity. And Scrooge famously turns them down. So that's one of the many different kinds of no that fundraisers get. And he actually had a reason. He thought that the state provided for poor people very well. It had poor houses, union workhouses. It had poverty law and many other ways of providing for the poor people. So that was done. He felt he had no obligation to give of his own money, particularly at a time of deflation in the UK economy. So, but by the end, and we have to remember that all the action takes place in just one day and one night. So 24 hours later, those same collectors come knocking and Scrooge is, Scrooge's view of charity has completely changed. For lots of different reasons, um, but it's not just a one-off gift because he also talks about um, his heart is he'll be governed by Christmas uh, for every day of the year, not just one day a year of doing good. So take heart, be resilient. People will always say no, but if Ebenezer Scrooge can turn around within 24 hours a day to be the par paragon, paragon of giving, then I think uh, there is hope for all our charities. So Merry Christmas. <laughs>